Having your capital city close to another country's capital isn't always a great idea. It's okay if you're allies, but what if you're sworn enemies? Most countries' capital cities tend to be their most important and usually their most populated too. Let's take Seoul of South Korea and Pyongyang of North Korea. The description I just gave fits perfectly for these two countries. Their capital cities are easily their most important, influential and are the most populated in their respective countries. According to the UN, Seoul has a population of around 10 million. Pyongyang, on the other hand, has a much smaller population, at around 3.2 million. So about a third of that of Seoul's. The worrying part about these two cities is that they are only 200 kilometers away from one another. And they are technically still at war, as although a truce was signed in 1953, no peace treaty was ever established. With Pyongyang having some estimated 30 nuclear warheads, if it wanted to, it could literally destroy Seoul within minutes. Finland and Estonia are two other countries whose capital cities are pretty close. However, unlike North and South Korea, these two countries are somewhat allies. The distance between these two capitals is even smaller than our previous example. At just 82 kilometers north of Estonia's capital, Tallinn, across the Gulf of Finland, you will find the Finnish capital of Helsinki. Within two hours on a ferry, you can access the Finnish capital from Tallinn. And as they're both part of Europe's Schengen area, no visa is required. Helsinki is the larger of the two in terms of population. Its metro population is around 1.3 million, about three times greater than that of Tallinn's. Coincidentally, Helsinki's metro population is pretty much the exact same as the entire population of Estonia. The distance from London to Paris is around 340 kilometers as the crow flies. Brussels, the capital of Belgium, is even closer to London at just 321 kilometers. Now, both of these European capitals are closer to London than what Edinburgh and Belfast are, which are two of the countries part of the UK itself. The other is Cardiff of Wales, which is found around 210 kilometers exactly to London's west. So is 321 kilometers the closest distance for a European capital pairing? Well, no, not even close. That accolade belongs to the European capitals of Vienna and Bratislava, of Austria and Slovakia respectively. The distance between the two is about 60 kilometers along the river Danube. This distance can be covered in less than an hour by car, making them two of the closest capital cities on earth. Now enough about Europe, let's fly some 12,000 kilometers southwest of Vienna across to Buenos Aires of Argentina. Buenos Aires is a gigantic mega city found on Argentina's central eastern coast. Some 200 kilometers east of Buenos Aires across the Rio de la Plata estuary, you will find Uruguay's capital, Montevideo. Montevideo, although Uruguay's most populated city, has a population around 10 times less than that of Buenos Aires. Montevideo is actually a really beautiful city with stunning colonial architecture, palm trees and beaches along its bay. Let's now travel 8,000 kilometers northeast of Uruguay's capital where we'll find Kinshasa, the capital city of the Democratic Republic of the Congo or the DR Congo as it's more commonly known. Now, Kinshasa is what I call a secretly highly populated city. By this, I mean that it's a city that most people will not even have heard of, let alone know how enormous it actually is. It's hard to give an exact figure due to unconfirmed urbanized zones, but its population is claimed to be around 15 or so million making it the second most populated city on the continent, only behind Lagos of Nigeria. So around two kilometers north of Kinshasa's most northern point, you will find another capital city, Brazzaville of the Republic of Congo. Another large African capital, but nowhere near the size of Kinshasa. Estimates suggest that around two million people live in Brazzaville. The two capitals are separated by the Congo River, one of the largest rivers in the world. And as no bridge exists between the two cities, you must cross by boat or plane. Even though they are so close, flying takes around 50 minutes due to the locations of their airports being further out of the cities. 
The split of the Congo into two countries happened during the mid 20th century, when African nations were gaining independence from their European colonial rulers. The region was initially colonised by Belgium and France, leading to the creation of these two separate countries. The DR Congo is significantly larger in terms of population and land area. Its population is over 100 million, living in a country covering a distance of some 2.3 million kilometres squared. The Republic of Congo, on the other hand, has a much smaller population, only around 6 million, over a distance of 342,000 kilometres squared. Now, technically, the two closest capital cities on Earth are Rome of Italy and Vatican City whose distance from each other is, well, kind of zero kilometres. Some sources may say that because Vatican City is a city-state, it doesn't really have a capital, so this wouldn't count. Therefore, meaning the two closest capitals will be Kinshasa and Brazzaville. But as Vatican City is completely surrounded by Rome, which is Italy's capital, the distance at their borders would be zero kilometres, as they are physically connected. The two closest capital cities that are found on different continents are Tripoli of Libya and Valletta of Malta, who are found just 350 kilometres away from one another. The former is of course found in Africa, and the latter, Europe. Tripoli is found on the country's northwestern coastline. If you were to swim directly north and a little bit east, you would arrive on the shores of Malta in the Mediterranean Sea. Now whilst we're on the topic of Malta, here's a fun fact. The entire country is found further south than Tunis of Tunisia and Algiers of Algeria, two African capital cities. Now would you class Trinidad and Tobago as North or South America? The country is found ever so slightly off the coast of the South American continent, literally a stone's throw away from Venezuela. Some sources claim it to be North America, while some say South. Geologically, it is quite clearly South American, but as it's tied more with its Caribbean neighbours, with this regard, it could be North American. Some would argue that the Isthmus of Panama is the link between the two continents. And as Trinidad and Tobago's capital, Port of Spain, actually sits further north than the entirety of the country of Panama, this could kind of mean that it could be classed as North America. If it is, then it's another example of two capital cities that are close to each other but on different continents, as it's just 560 kilometers away from Georgetown, the capital of Guyana, which is most certainly found in South America. With Europe having so many different countries, along with it being a relatively small continent, this has to make this region here the most densely packed capital city region on Earth. Within this circle here, there must be about 15 capital cities. The flight time from any capital to any other given capital in this region is likely no longer than 3 or 4 hours. Asia definitely has the most spread out capitals, considering you have the likes of Damascus found far west, Tokyo found far east, and then Jakarta far southeast. The two most remote capital cities on Earth are Canberra of Australia and Wellington of New Zealand, who are some 2,300 kilometres away from one another. At nearly 20,000 kilometres, the two capitals which are found furthest away from each other are Asuncion of Paraguay and Taipei of Taiwan. Other very distant capitals are Wellington of New Zealand to Madrid of Spain, Lima of Peru to Phnom Penh, Cambodia, and Bogota of Colombia to Jakarta, Indonesia. How about the two countries who physically share a border but have their capitals furthest away from one another? Well, from my research, there are two possible contenders. You have Russia and North Korea, whose capitals Moscow and Pyongyang are some 6,400 kilometers away from each other. Or, as Brazil and France technically border each other due to French Guiana being a department of France, their capitals Brasilia and Paris are some 8,600 kilometers away from each other. Yet, they technically share a border. Now, if you can think of any other close capitals or perhaps interesting geographical location of capitals, please do let us know in the comments below. And as always, thank you very much for watching today's video.